transgender teen from Kings Mills is galvanizing the LGBT community. Leela Alcorn died on Sunday morning when she walked into traffic on Interstate 71. Her suicide note blamed her parents for not accepting her true gender identity. Nine on your side's Jason Law is following the outrage and hope from the transgender community. Jason? Yeah, Carol, we have received dozens of emails and hundreds of comments on social media about Leela's death and our coverage of Leela's death. A lot of the comments were constructive, a lot of them were not. But the transgender community is paying attention to the 17 year old from Kings Mills. For a time last night, the name Leela Alcorn was trending worldwide on Twitter. Leela wrote in her suicide note she wanted her death to mean something. Well, she certainly has gotten a lot of people talking. Lindsay Deaton is transgender and says parents need to help their children become their true selves. You know, once we are our authentic selves, all, all the junk fades away. You know, my, my wife and children will tell you how much better of a human I am now because I'm authentic. And, you know, Leela, bless her heart, didn't get that opportunity to live her truth. And so that's our responsibility as adults is to let our children live in their truth. Now, this is an incredibly sensitive and delicate topic, especially when it comes to parents and their children. At six, we speak with a mother and her transgender son about how they were able to get through this difficult transition together. Julie? All right, Jason, thank you. And you are taking a live look, or let's do